Well, hello again, all my fabulous first grade friends. It's me again, Mr. Chismer, coming to you from the shower. Hmm. All right, guys, in our little math video today, I'm going to talk to you about one of the activities that is new to you guys that we would be doing actually right now if we were in school, okay? So it's discussing 2D shapes, which are two-dimensional shapes, which I did a video on, which, okay, as well as understanding and seeing if they are divided in or separated into equal parts, okay? So the first thing we need to do is we need to be able to talk about some of the vocabulary, okay? So I'm gonna introduce that to you, model for you guys, all right, with some explicit instruction, all right? And then you guys will be able to do those activities on your teleschool packet, okay? Remember that we, Miss Williams, Miss Battle, and I need to see your work on your teleschool packets. So a lot of you have been sending us pictures or videos via text messages or email. Keep it up, guys, because we want to see that we're really, really proud of you, all right? And we want to keep that up. We got to keep the momentum going. We're going to end the year strong, and we're going to be ready as ever for second grade, okay? So here we go. The first thing we want to do is we want to go over some terms, okay? So the first term is equal. Everyone say equal. Oh, good. Equal means the same. We do that, remember, with the equal sign. When we were comparing numbers, equal means the same, okay? Now, we also have talked about whenever we divide shapes into sections, okay, you might see some of these words. Force. Everyone say force, okay? You see the word for right here. Digraph TH. Fourths. Fourths. Okay, remember, your tongue has to go out when you say fourths, okay? So I can hear you. Now, fours. You see the word four, right? Right here? Well, if a shape is divided into fourths, that means there are four equal parts, especially because this week we're talking about equal, okay? All parts are the same, all right? The next word is halves. Everyone say halves. Got it. Halves means that there are two equal parts. So halves are going to be bigger then force because, two, okay, and we're going to show you that. I'm going to show you that, okay? So let's review as well. We're going to talk about, again, our 2D shapes, okay? So as I said, we have right here this top row of shapes. They're all circles, right? Circles are two-dimensional shapes that have no sides and no vertices, okay? Now, we're going to talk about, I'm going to show you, how they are divided into equal parts, and if they are in halves or fours, or if they're not divided into equal parts. So let's look at this first circle. This line is at the very top. Is this section that I'm gonna color in green real quickly, is that the same as this bottom? No, they are not the same. So these are not equal, okay? Not equal. If I look at my second shape, I have a vertical line going straight down the middle. If I look, the right side is equal or the same as the left. So these are divided into two equal parts or halves, okay? And the last one, I have a shape, the circle again, two-dimensional shape, and it is divided into an X, all right, with an X. And you see that there are four parts. That means it's divided into force. Now, all parts are very close, even though I didn't get it exact. But in your drawings, they're probably going to be, okay, because they're they made it, did it better than me, all right, just going to say. So this would be divided into four equal parts or force, okay? All right, so let's go into our next two-dimensional shape. This is a four-sided shape. All sides are supposed to be the same size or same length with four vertices, okay? All right, that is called a square, all right? And if I look, this square has an oblique or diagonal line that goes from the top left to the bottom right. If I look, this side that I'm coloring is the exact same as this. So these are divided into equal halves, two equal parts. Now, look at this square. 
it has a vertical line going up and down dividing it. It is divided into two parts, right? But I see that this side is way smaller than the right side. So they're not, so that square is not divided into equal halves, all right? But now I look at my third square. It is divided into four parts. Look, one, two, three, and four. All of those parts look the exact same size. So this square is divided into four equal parts or fourths, all right? And lastly, guys, we look at my two-dimensional shape that it has three sides, three angles, three vertices. That is a triangle. Remember, tri means three. Like a tricycle has three wheels. Triangle has three angles. And I look, this first triangle has a horizontal line going from left to right, dividing it. Now, okay, so divided into two equal parts, I see. Or two parts. I'm sorry, not equal. I'm going to explain why. Two parts, but look, that top part, if I color it in, it's not the same as this. So this is not divided into halves because they're not the same. I look at this triangle and it's divided vertically right down the middle. This would be divided into halves, okay? And lastly, this shape has an oblique or diagonal line. But if I look, the bottom is not the exact same as the top. So it is not divided into equal parts or halves, okay? So you're gonna be looking at shapes now on your telescope packet, and you're gonna have to determine whether or not the two-dimensional shape is divided into equal parts, it might just say, are the each is each part equal? It might say, are they divided into equal halves? Or it might say, is the shape divided into equal fourths? So now you know. So remember, halves, two equal parts, okay? Fourths, four equal parts. And remember, if each section is divided into equal sections, every section is the exact same size and shape. Okay? Good luck out there. Can't wait to see your work. Proud of you guys. Bye-bye.